All right, Tungsten here. So now let's carry on to the next part, which is the 1.6 spring and the 550 barrel. So this is actually pretty long. Now, when you get a barrel itself, uh, take note uh, there's one portion whereby you know you have a kind of a you know, uh, dip. This is to face inwards, and this is to face the front right so later on we probably will also discuss a little bit on the uh, scar barrel itself uh, if we have the time if not I will keep it for the next video uh, so that uh, everything is short all right so let's go ahead and change it now again I will need to remove the old barrel okay okay so here use this uh, uh, key provided over here now I will suggest you loosen it up and because I have this attachment over here there's also a yeah, the so-called the old star the plastic key one okay so I'm going to loosen this okay so that I can I will not kind of uh, pull off the barrel okay so it takes a little bit of force okay so let me just yep okay so I suggest you loosen it up so that you don't kind of damage your 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 gate or something like that so now i pull it out okay so this one is with the old plasticky sky as you can, as you can see over there right so ah uh, and the spring is here 1.2 right so that is that okay i am going to remove the spring as well so very easy from the back okay Again, you can put some Teflon tape. I have not done so. Mm, probably after, okay, videoing everything. So I'm gonna put this in. By the way, I also change it to the red O ring. Okay. Okay. Now I noticed uh, even the red O ring seems to be a bit loose. Kind kind of situation, but it does kind of like spit seal when it fire off. I think it's kind of like the, I don't know, maybe the jet kind of. Uh, style okay then whereby when you fire off your speed seal okay so again double check okay this is supposed to be a front this is supposed to face inside okay 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 right so this is a pretty long barrel okay make sure it's seated nicely inside tighten a little bit I'm gonna put this aside I will decide whether to put this or not I think it looks a little big maybe okay let's see later on all right so moment of truth let's just uh, do a prime okay <laughs> I use a side wow it's actually now a bit heavy okay put it in front see whether it seals <laughs> Right, okay, you can see that the seal is pretty good. Okay, let's try again. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's a bit harder to prime. Okay. Okay, I don't know whether you can hear it, so it's okay. It's pretty good. Okay, now, okay, so let's just go ahead, test the FPS. Oh, hit my camera. Okay, and let's let's uh, kind of uh, angle. Two six four. I find that actually this side prime is easier to prime now. Okay, okay. Let's just try. Two five oh. Okay. Okay. So I have to uh, kind of pull it pretty, pretty forcefully backwards for it to prime. Okay. Two six nine. 
okay yeah it kind of like to kind of really really pull it hard back okay okay so i guess that's the drawback of a stronger spring hmm yeah i got a 252 Two five eight. Okay. Yeah. So uh so I guess okay and then my let's take a take a one last shot. Okay. Yeah, so I have to get used to it. So it's like a very fast pull and then catch it and then go in front. Two six four. So uh it's roughly about there. Okay. Yep. And then uh yeah, that's about it right so yeah so the reading is about to me it's about 255 to 265 around uh, i conclude that so that is the uh kind of the spring itself uh the 1.6 spring uh to be honest I, I i don't know i think i might prefer the in between the 1.4 i think it good got a good kind of feel feeling for the prime itself and uh it's more comfortable probably you know <laughs> you'll last longer on the battlefield yeah right so that's about that all right so uh, next video i guess for the uh scar barrel yeah